Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at bulgarianpod101.com. Okay, hi everyone. How are you today? I'm your host Daria and this is an episode of bulgarianpod101.com. Maybe one of the most important episodes because it gives you the top 25 Bulgarian phrases that they are. I mean, these are key phrases that you need to start a conversation, to introduce yourself, to say the, the basic phrases of every language. So if you want to be 25 Bulgarian phrases ahead of the rest of the people who don't know those, grab a pen and a notebook and let's start. Zdravej. Zdravej. Hello. How to start? How should we start? I think there's no better way to start but to say Zdravej. <laughs> Zdravej. Hello. Well, hello everyone. Um, Zdravej is like an informal way to say it. You can say Zdravej te, the formal one. Um, also plural, yeah. You can say Zdravej te to multiple people. And also if... Um, if you hear that some Bulgarian people say Zdrasti, Zdrasti, this is the short version of hello. Just hi. Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning. How do you usually start the day? If you see somebody, you would greet them with Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning. This phrase I love a lot because of the vibration of it. Dobro utro. Practice your R's in, uh, in this phrase. Also, I like to use it because we're one step ahead um, of our southern neighbors, the Greek people, who don't even have a phrase for good morning. They just start from Kalimera, which is the day. I don't know why nobody celebrates the morning over there. We do. Dobar den. Dobar den. Good afternoon. Moving on later in the day. Dobar den. Dobar den. Good afternoon. Now, here's the tricky part because it may be 10 a.m. in the morning, but you can hear a Bulgarian saying Dobar den which literally is good afternoon, but we use it more as good day to you. So remember it, dobar den. Leka nošt. Leka nošt. Good night. When you go to bed, you would hear a Bulgarian person wishing you leka nošt. Leka nošt. This is good night. Good night, good night. I remember a song from my childhood. There was a television show just before the little kids would go to bed. Uh, and the show was called Lekanost de Tsa. Good night, children. De Tsa. And it was about a character named Suncho. Suncho, which is like a sleepy boy. Anyway, memories from my childhood. Moving on. Как се казваш? Как се казваш? What's your name? Now that you've learned how to greet people according to the part of the day your encounter is happening, how to properly introduce yourself? You can ask them for, for their name. Как се казваш? Как се казваш? This is pretty much asking what's your name? You can also make it uh, plural or formal by saying te at the end. Как се казва те? What is your name formal? And how do we reply to that? As some Maya. As some Maya. I'm Maya. As some Daria. As some Daria. As some Daria. This is a way of saying, I am Daria. And what do we usually add after that, after we introduce our name? 
Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Nice to meet you. Usually after we say our name, we would add. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Right? It's very simple. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Nice to meet you. Now, you can just use the first uh, part of this phrase, which is приятно ми е. It's nice. <laughs> That's pretty much enough for a Bulgarian. But if you m- want to sound more like a true Bulgarian, you gotta say приятно ми е да се запознаем. Как си? Как си? How are you? Как си? Как си? How are you? This is a classic question you can ask anybody and um, it's a door opener, by the way. I've heard I use it quite a lot in the US or other countries. However, please, I beg of you, when you ask Kaxi, really show interest and really mean it. Kaxi. Благодаря добре. А ти? Благодаря добре. А ти? I'm fine, thanks. And you? And usually there is the answer. Благодаря добре. А ти? Благодаря добре. А ти? Literally, uh, I'm fine, thank you. And how about you? Благодаря добре. Благодаря добре. А ти? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Literally, благодаря is thank you. Добре is good. Thank you, good. А ти? And you? Uh, you can juggle with that or you can say how you really feel. You may be moody, you may be happy. You may be uh, anxious. So you can add whatever you like in that little phrase. Uh, Благодаря, добре. Благодаря, не добре. Моля. Моля. Please. Моля. Моля. It's a very important word because it shows politeness. It shows good intention. This is the Bulgarian word for please. Please. Also, molia means uh, I beg you, I beg of you. But uh, you can also add it to um, any sentence if you would like to request something. And we'll see later on how to use molia. Благодаря. Благодаря. Thank you. The next word is a very important one because it shows gratitude. Благодаря. Благодаря. One word. It means thank you. But the root of the word is благо, which is... um, Oh, the best, the best things or the nice things. Daria, I'm gifting them to you. Like nice things I'm giving. Um, so you can say Blagodaria. But also for people who don't feel um, confident in saying this long word in Bulgarian, it's fine for you to use the French Merci because we've stolen that one in our language. Пак заповядай. Пак заповядай. You are welcome. And usually if you say благодаря, you can say right afterwards. Пак заповядай. Пак заповядай. You are welcome. And you have the nicest of nicest things in your relationship with the person you have just met. Nice, nice base to work on from then on. Да. Yes. 
Here are the two most important words to reply a uh, yes and no question, which are, which are the words yes and no. Da, da in Bulgarian means yes. Ne, no. Ne in Bulgarian means no. But don't confuse it with the type of nodding because all over the world, this means da, and this means ne, but only in Bulgaria it's vice versa. So this would mean no, and this would mean yes. Not ne, da. Why? I can't even tell you. I can't. <laughs> Some psychology thing, sociology, I don't know. Dobre. Okay. Remember the phrase that we've used before? Blagoderia dobre. Uh, replying to how are you feeling today? Uh, good, thank you. Good. This is the word dobre. Dobre. This means okay in Bulgarian and it's okay to use it as much as possible just because of the good vibration of it. Dobre, dobre. Izvinete. Izvinete. Excuse me. Another of the top 25 Bulgarian phrases that everybody should know is izvinete. Izvinete. Excuse me. Yes. People should learn how to use this word as much as possible because, first of all, Bulgarian people rarely use it. Why? If, so, if they step on your foot uh, or they push you or punch you, do something horrible to you, they would say, Opa! They may even crush your car and they will say, Opa! Which literally is oops. They would not say, Excuse me, I apologize, and they would just go away. Yeah, because uh, we are such people. But really, a lot of people say opa. Opa, which is, I think it's a Greek word as well. Opa. Opa! Opa, hey. Uh, okay. Sejalavam. Sejalavam. I'm sorry. Another good word to use is sejalavam. Sejalavam. Now, uh, this means I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, but a lot of people ha ha find difficulty pronouncing the... Now I'm having difficulty speaking. Pronouncing uh, the uh in the beginning, because we have this sound. Uh, uh. The Brazilian people would understand perfectly what I'm talking about, because they have this sound. But if you don't, stress on Sejalavam. Uh, it actually makes you makes your body feel good after you say it. So I'm sorry. Use it as much as you can. Kolko e chasat? Kolko e chasat? What time is it? So you're walking the streets of Sofia or Plovdiv and you have a meeting with a, a local person to show you around. You've agreed to meet at 2 o'clock somewhere, but you don't have a watch. Uh, the phone, the battery on your phone is dead, so there is no way for you to know is it 2 o'clock already or not. Here is a way to ask for it. Kolko chasat? Kolko e chasat? What's the time? Usually, as, a, as an answer, you would get just a number. Two, <laughs> dva, dva chasa, tri chasa, četiri, and it's useful if you know the Bulgarian numbers. Kde je toaletnata? Kde je toaletnata? Where is the restroom? Another very useful phrase, which is definitely among the top 25 Bulgarian phrases you should know, is this one. Kde e toaletnata? Kde e toaletnata? The double O. Okay, where is the restroom? Um, 
I don't know why uh, why I feel saying that learning this will open a lot of doors for you. Hopefully it will open a lot of doors for you and you don't have to wait in front of the restroom. But in Bulgaria, there are a lot, a lot of uh, public restrooms around or you can use any cafe or restaurant for this. Uh, and literally, you can just say toilet and they'll understand you because toilet, toiletna. Very similar. Ischakite za moment. Ischakite za moment. Wait a moment. Here is another phrase. If you hear somebody say Ischakite za moment. Ischakite za moment. They usually mean wait a moment. I hope you don't hear this uh, in front of the restroom door. But in case that happens, you know that you have to wait. Hey, sometimes in life you have to wait for the good things to come and to happen to you. Колко струва това? Колко струва това? How much is this? So you you've had a wonderful day sightseeing and you've met the local person. And then you enter a souvenir shop, but in the souvenir shop, there is no price announced. Now, if that happens, you can ask, Kolko struva tova? Kolko struva tova? How much is this? And again, they'll give you a number as an answer. So it's always handy and good to learn the Bulgarian numbers first. Pomost. Pomost. Help. If you need help, ask for it. You can say pomost. Pomost. Help. Yell it as loud as you can. Pomost. Pomost. Um, it's a funny thing that we Bulgarians have been exposed so much to Western movies that. Almost everybody would know the English version of, of Pomost, which is help. However, you will sound like a true Bulgarian if you learn Pomost. Do skoro. Do skoro. See you later. We are almost towards the end. It seems proper that I give you two phrases of how to part with people. So, bear with me. Do skoro. Do skoro. Means, uh, see you later. Do vizdane. Do vizdane. Goodbye. Another word would be do vizdane. Do vizdane. Goodbye. And... Don't be afraid to use the Italian ciao because it's so short and so easy and everybody uses it. And this is another foreign word that we have stolen and claimed in our, in our Bulgarian language. Ne znam. Ne znam. I don't know. Ne znam. Ne znam. This is a way of saying, I don't know. And in my personal opinion, this phrase can get you out of almost any situation. Whatever they ask you, you just say, ne znam. And you can add bulgarski at the end of that sentence. For example, ne znam bulgarski. <laughs> and that will be enough for the people to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. If you do know Bulgarian, which you do by watching BulgarianPod101.com, you can just say Znam. I know. Bulgarski. Bulgarian. Znam Bulgarski. I know Bulgarian. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to a new episode of BulgarianPod101.com. I'm your host, Daria, and today I'm going to walk you through 10 phrases you always want to hear. So, are you ready to start complimenting other people? Let's go!
Изглеждаш страхотно днес. Изглеждаш страхотно днес. You look great today. Now, is something that I would like to point your attention on is the word страхотно, which is literally translated as scary, by the way, because it uh, derives from the word страшно, which is scary. So, Bulgarians use it in a way of saying great, but it's funny how uh, it sounds when you think about it. You look scary today. And it sounds such a normal thing to say in Bulgarian, by the way. Uh, so use it everywhere you go. You look wonderful today. You look great today. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Lipsvaš mi. Lipsvaš mi. I miss you. Yes, this is something uh, either say, say too rarely or we do say excessively. I do encourage everybody to find a balance in it. And this comes from meaning it uh, from your heart. I am going to miss you until the next episode. Ще ми липсвате. Свърши чудесна работа. Свърши чудесна работа. You did a great job. Yes, uh, I do believe that if somebody hears this phrase more often, they're not only going to be flattered, but they will uh, improve their work overall. Свърши чудесна работа. Ще има бонус в края на месеца. Ще има бонус в края на месеца. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. It's definitely what everybody would like to hear if they have done a good job. Even if they have not done a good job, it will make them do a better job. Because imagine if you're doing something for many years and you don't receive any kind of appreciation for that. Not even a single small thing. So the bonus is definitely something you should use to make somebody do better work. Ти готвиш превъзходно. Ти готвиш превъзходно. You're an excellent cook. Yes, everybody would like to hear that, even though sometimes you may burn the dish, but your friends are there to support you, so they may be saying, oh, as, as if they're mocking you. Ти си превъзходен. Готвач, ти готвиш превъзходно. You are an exceptional cook. Uh, well, the more you burn dishes, I know, the better you become as a cook, so please never stop cooking. Почини си. Аз ще почистя днес. Почини си. Аз ще почистя днес. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Opens the heart and the doors to every mother's heart. Guaranteed, proof, uh, read and checked and all that. И вие печелите! И вие печелите! And you win! I uh, specifically think that if you invest the money you spend on scratch tickets into something else, you are on the winning side of spending your money. For sure. Ти беше прав. Ти беше прав. You were right. Why is it so hard to admit something like that? I don't know. Maybe because Bulgarian people, they think they know everything about everything. Uh, from science to sport to politics to anything. Uh, so please say it uh, even though people are not right. Нося ти нещо специално. Нося ти нещо специално. I brought you something special. It is very intriguing and exciting to hear something like that, isn't it? Uh, unless the special something is a cat. And there you can bid farewell to your living room couch. Бюджетът е неограничен. Бюджетът е неограничен. The budget is unlimited. Can you imagine a world where there is no money or, or there is a budget but it's unlimited? 
What are the things that everybody can do? Everybody can accomplish their dreams, no matter how far-fetched are they. You can even uh, go to the end of the universe if there is such. Mm -hmm. So unlimited budget, unlimited dreams, make it happen. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to school. I am your teacher, Daria, and this is BulgarianPod101.com. Why am I saying this? Uh, I'm saying this because, first of all, today's topic on BulgarianPod101.com is 10 words and phrases for surviving back to school. And second of all, that's why... Because we're going back to school, I have my piggy tails back! Ponytail! So, why? Because when I was a school kid, my mom used to send me off to school looking exactly like this. Maybe my hair was shorter. Uh, great! Shall we start with the first word for surviving back to school? Ranica. Backpack. Ranica, backpack. Ranica, backpack. Well, you can say Ranica temu e mnogo teška. Ranica temu e mnogo teška. His backpack is very heavy, which is very common in Bulgarian uh, schools to see a small little school kid with a huge backpack, so heavy because we have ambitious Bulgarian teachers and they all require a textbook, a notebook, auxiliary materials, this, that, and so many other things. And when you have six of these subjects for today, you're basically carrying your home with you. I think you should be... I think the kid should be better with a suitcase. Dragging it down, huh? <laughs> So, Chenik, classmate. So, guys, if you see two kids with two big backpacks, they are certainly so Chenici, classmates. Mm hmm. Te sa so Chenici. Te sa so Chenici. They are classmates. These two boys, at least, they can share. The burden of the Bulgarian education system on their backs together. They say if you share it with a friend, it's less. Uh, it's half a burden. That's a Bulgarian saying. I don't know if it's applicable in this uh, case, but ah, it just lifts your spirit a little bit that you're not the only one in the world like this. Domashna rabuta. Homework. The next phrase for surviving back to school is, in case you have forgotten, domašna rabuta, homework. Za utre nemate nikakva domašna rabuta. Za utre nemate nikakva domašna rabuta. You have no homework for tomorrow. What phrase is possibly better for a Bulgarian school kid or any school kid to hear from his or her teacher. Then no homework for tomorrow. Great. So if you are a teacher who is trying to learn Bulgarian with BulgarianPod101.com, I encourage you to use this phrase as much as possible. Zoutre nyamate nikakva domašna rabuta. Ispit. Exam. Ispit. Exam. Mm -hmm. That's an important one. Here is a sentence of how you can use ispit in a sentence. Podgotvi li se za ispita? Podgotvi li se za ispita? Did you prepare for the exam? Well, guys, there is no better way of stressing out a classmate of yours than... Uh, to ask them if they have prepared for the exam before the exam. That reminds them that probably they still have something to study on, so it will make them nervous. Uh, use this phrase, especially if you're trying to sabotage people. 
and other occasions use it after the exam has passed to ask what happened. Letna vacancia. Summer break. So among the 10 words and phrases for surviving back to school, this one is one of my favorite ones. Letna vacancia. Summer break. Yay! Woohoo! That's the most wonderful time of the year. If you think they're singing a song about Christmas, you are wrong. It was intended to be sung for uh, the summer break of schools. Why? Uh, why? Because this is truly the most wonderful time of the year for a student. And if you're wondering where your schoolmates are going, you can ask them this way. Къде ще ходиш през лятната вакансия? Къде ще ходиш през лятната вакансия? Where will you go for the summer break? Uh, great! Some of the people will say they're going to the seaside, maybe the mountains, maybe summer camp, uh, maybe they're not going to do anything at all. Back in my time, one of the most popular answers a Bulgarian student can give you would be, I'm going to my village, which means that I'm going to spend some time with grandmother and grandfather, who would teach me how to uh, do all kind of village stuff. However, now that the grandparents have moved to the big city, people don't go to the villages uh, as often as we used to. So we would go to a family vacation, sometimes abroad. Училище. School. Talking about surviving back to school phrases and words, it feels like I should give you the word for school. Училище. School. And here is an example of how you can use училище into a sentence. Училището е на 5 минути от дома им. Училището е на 5 минути от дома им. The school is 5 minutes away from their home. Lucky them, I would say, because these kids are the ones who will get to sleep in later. Uh, compared to all the rest of the school kids that live further away from the school and will have to wake up earlier. So good for you, living five minutes away only from the school. I used to live an hour away of my school. Boy, what a fun bus ride was that, though. Kandidatstvam. To apply. So guys, I'm giving you a verb uh, that you can put in the top um, words, top 10 words and phrases for surviving back to school. And this verb is кандидатствам, to apply. Yes, because this is going to happen at some point and you have to apply to change the school, to enter a university and hopefully this is all successful. Here is an example. Той кандидатства и го приеха. Той кандидатства и го приеха. He applied and was accepted. Great, good job. And also, if he didn't apply, he wouldn't have gotten accepted. As simple as that. So please apply for everything in life. Днес е първият учебен ден. It's the first day of class. Okay, guys, next I'm going to give you a very important phrase for surviving back to school. Are you ready? Remember, Днес е първият учебен ден. Днес е първият учебен ден. Today it's the first day of class. It's very exciting. Yay! You know what? Actually, it's not very exciting because the more exciting part of the school year, it's the last day of class. Posleden učeben den. The last day of class. Go figure. Nije sme v edin i sešti klas. We are in the same class. 
So let's imagine you're back to school and there is a new uh, classmate that you don't know. And he or she is super sweet and super cute and you like to meet them. And um, a, all of a sudden you realize that Nije sme v edin isošti klas. Nije sme v edin isošti klas. We are in the same class. Well, that may uh, make things easier for you to get to know one another. Or it can make things very difficult for you and the person you have a crush on. Different people, different ways. Priključili s domašnotu si. Did you finish your homework? The next phrase I'm going to give you is actually a question. A question that I have heard my mom repeat so many times. And here it is. Priključili s domašnotu si. Priključili s domašnotu si. Ah, did you finish your homework? Um, I wish that I can tell you. I replied with yes, I did, but not always. Actually, if the Bulgarian education system was more like the Finnish education system, we wouldn't even have the need to ask this question about the homework because the in Finland apparently kids don't have homework and it works so much better for them. But just in case you're in Bulgaria, you can ask. Priključili z domašnoto si. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.